20 bucks. Nah, I'm here for Leadfoot. <laughs> now pay me 20 bucks. Sounds like you know your cars, Woody. Ah, oh, you don't know squat, Woodpecker. That car's a hunk of junk. And Leadfoot couldn't drive his way out of a parking lot. Oh, no! What have I done? Tough break, dead foot. Show that motorhead nobody messes with the beak. Let me make this up to you, Leadfoot, by driving for you. Well, you sure do know a lot about cars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, if you could just keep the pole position, maybe my car's undefeated record could stand another day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the race has a new driver. Rookie racer Woody Woodpecker. He's behind the wheel of the legendary... Now newly painted car number nine. Huh? Hey, that car has fleas. And, and, and that driver, he ain't even got his learner's permission. Uh -huh. Oh, that's no fair. I wasn't ready. The Cross City Challenge. I look my best in the lead. Oh, actually, I look my best in a televised interview. <laughs> well, you see, when I was young, I had a really traumatic old, like, childhood and whatnot, which is, of course, what has pushed me to be as fast and articulated as I am today, you know what I'm saying? Regulation racing to me. Hey! Get back here! Gotcha! And goodbye! <laughs> Looks like Woody Woodpecker is out of the lead indefinitely. Go, Dooley, go! Go, Dooley, go! He's me! He's me! Who's the man? Who's the man? I guess that would be me! Uh-huh! My streak is lost. <laughs> Don't worry, Lightfoot. I'm not gonna let you down. Over the river and through the woods, the shortcut the louse we go. <laughs> That's my 
last buck. I'll also need a smog toll. Your clothing, tire toll, your tires, speeding toll, your engine block, the deed to your house, your false teeth, and the film rights to your life story. All righty then. Huh. Hey, you didn't say please. Please? Now can I cross the bridge to get to the other side? Sorry, friendo. No shirt, no shoes, no service. <laughs> Number nine streak alive. <laughs> Shall we say 50 bucks? I'll take these two on a cruise they'll never forget. 50 bucks? And uh, did I mention I'd be taking the kids off your hands for the whole day? A whole day, huh? Hmm. It's a steal. I mean a deal. Thanks, Uncle Woody. See ya. Bye. Rest and relaxation. Here I come. <laughs> and little woodpeckers, there you go. So long, suckers. <laughs> wait for us, Captain Buzz. Huh? Here, wait up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, grab the sound on it. I'm the captain of this here boat. Aye, aye, captain. What's our first order, sir? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling chilly. Get me my coat. <laughs> hey, maybe this ain't gonna be so bad after all. Now swap the deck. Uh, there's no mop, Captain Buzz. A good sailor learns how to make do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a life. Oh, cabin kids, I'd like my sushi now. Oh, I hate being a bait. <laughs> being the bait's better than being the sushi. <laughs> Cruise stinks. It could be worse. How? We could be caught in a horrible storm. Uh, is he okay? Yeah, just let him sleep. So what do we do now? I know, I know, I know. Let's build a two-man shelter to protect us from wild animals. 
Yeah, just like we learned in Woodpecker Scouts. What about him? I say he's on his own. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Oh, where am I? Mommy! <laughs> Who is it? Um, it's Captain Buzz. Toss me down a line, sailors. Uh, we'd love to help you, Captain Buzz, but this house only holds two. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the mountain lions bite. Mountain lions. Oh, this is good. Hi <laughs> ho, oh, kids. What's on the menu for breakfast? You got a fish for your own food, Captain Buzz. Uh, let me use one for bait, then? <laughs> Can't be wasting precious food for bait. Gotta use yourself for bait. What? Forget about it. <laughs> I'll get my food somewhere else. <laughs> I can just... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll be the bait. Marinara, please. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's cut something. <laughs> nope. Something caught Buzz. Hey, look! We're, We're saved! saved. We're, We're saved. saved! Uncle Woody, Uncle Woody! Whoa! We knew you'd find us. What happened to Captain Buzz? Captain Creep, you mean? He didn't look out for you? We did just fine without his kind of help. <laughs> Over here! Wait for me! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get me out of here! Hurry! Get this tub moving, you two! You heard Captain Buzz. Now move! Sure, Captain Buzz. We'll get the boat moving. Under one condition. And what's that? That you swap the deck. Oh, no. No, no, no. No! no. Back. Back off. I'm allergic to being a seafood food. Oh, oh please. Leave me alone, will you? Mm, yes, sir. <laughs> Championship West Lapland Dog and Crayfish Show. Now, let's see if I've got everything. Chips, soda, water, fruit smoothie, ice mango surprise, peanut butter crackers, T-bone steak, microwavable cheesy wheeze, fan, heater, room theater, pillow, blanket, beak warmer. Perfect. Ah, everything I need for complete comfort. Hmm. Huh? Ow! It's just a
Welcome to the 357th Annual West Lapland Dog and Crayfish Show. Talk about perfect timing. She makes her way to the winner's box. Just in time to see Molly take home the gold. Hmm, too hard. Hmm. Ah, now this is living. <laughs> Spring, oh boy, perfect. 
for spring cleaning. What a mess! Better get started. Ah, my spring cleaning is done. I feel so peaceful when everything is in its place. Hi, neighbor. Time to return some stuff I buy. No! Nice catch, Wally. Thanks for nothing. If you never darken my door again, it'll be too soon, Woodpecker! A freak spring snowstorm has hit the Tri-County area. Neighbors should look out for one another, as this storm could last for a few weeks. <laughs> oh, this can't happen! Oh, no, 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 weeks! No, weeks! Oh, no, 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 <laughs> For once, I agree with you, Wally. Eek! I'll go crazy in this place that long! I'll go to the rubber room! Okay, listen here, Woodpecker. If you gotta be a guest in my house, then you live by my Swedish cleanliness code, you bet. Look, I didn't ask to get stuck here either. So just don't get me involved in any of your Swedish shenanigans and you won't even know I'm here. It's a deal. This week on As the Bread Rises, Mike and Michelle realize nothing makes their love stronger than getting abducted. Wally, the TV's gone out from the storm. What will we do with no TV? I don't care what you do. <laughs> Poof! You no more with the noisy and the messy, yeah? Must be calm. Uh, let me just, uh... Good as new. Woodpecker! Enough with the boom boom twang. Hey, Wally, what are you doing? I'm alphabetizing all my photo slides by the articles of clothing I was wearing in each shot. I'm going to check the order if you'd like to watch. Gee, can I? Yeah, and here I am at Mount Speedmore in my checkered suit. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'll never forget this one. The National Fjord watching show where I wore my fuchsia parachute pants every day. Oh yeah, here I am at the Swedish leg waxing competition in my daisy yellow fisherman's hat. <gasps> Wait a minute, this slide is out of order. Oh no, now we gotta start at the beginning again. Yeah. Wally, buddy, I can't take it anymore. Pull yourself together, woodpecker. <laughs> Now, Woodpecker! Wanna play sharks? Be not playing sharks! <laughs> Come on, Wally buddy! We've been cooped up here for a week! You'll love it! The ground is the sea, and the furniture is the land! Yeah, sure! So, uh, even this coffee table is land? You are a natural! Now just stay out of the water, or else... Or else what? Or else the shark will get you. Shark? Mm. 
Shark! <gasps> I help you, little buddy. <laughs> My childhood crib in the attic. Shark cage. Fire. We did it. We beat the shark. We beat the shark. Told you it was a great game. <gasps> Wally, look! Woohoo! Snow's gone and so am I. Oh, yoinky doinky. You mounted over the fireplace. That's right, folks. We've been hit with more snow. Ah, there's nothing like a little more winter to really bring people together. Stop the presses, boss. The culinary critic will have a review of... Winnie's Big City Bistro in no time. Big City, my foot. These small town places are never like the joints in the big city. I'm sure it'll close down just like all the other restaurants do after I review them. <laughs> but enough dilly dallying. I've got a job to do. Ta da! My first day in business. It's so exciting being a restaurateur. Why, howdy and hi there. I'm Sil. My first customer. <laughs> Whoops, be right back. <laughs> Winnie's Big City Bistro. Hi, Betty. What? The famous culinary critic is coming here today? <laughs> An inside tip? Uh-huh. Always comes in disguise, but uses double initials when placing a reservation. One for Volley Volrus. Volley Volrus? Betty, double initials. It's the critic. Fame and fortune, here I come. Mr. Volley Volrus, what a pleasure. I want the best food, with no salt. I am terribly allergic to the salt, yeah? And I also want a window seat, with clean window. One window seat with clean window and hold the salt. Coming right up. <laughs> right this way, Mr. Volrus, to a wonderful seat and a perfect view. Excuse me, miss! I'll be back. How do you like Winnie's Big City Bistro so far? Look at this stain. I can't eat here. Oh, no, no, please wait. <laughs> Appetizers. Coming! Our appetizer of the day, sea salted calamari. I said no salt! Excuse me, I don't think I ordered this. <laughs> Gee, I, I guess if it's on you, then it's, it's, it's on us. <laughs> oh, calamari all over one customer, salt in the critic's food. Ma'am, I'm ready to order. Oh. I'll have some of this pasta. And an extra serving of garlic bread. You're not the only person in this restaurant. Have a seat and I'll be right with you. Appetizers for the most discriminating appetite. Mmm. I'd like some of the pasta I smell. Uh, of course, sir. Oh, ma'am! Here! No good pasta. 
Something else. How is your lobster? What else have you got that's good? Whoa! Uh, try this uh, and this and uh, these and those. Miss! Miss! Do you hear? Miss! It's too salty now! Miss! Uh, well, if that's all you have, then I'll be going. Wait, Mr. Walrus! Uh, you haven't tasted uh, my soup! You're done, dearie. Salt! I'm allergic to the salt! culinary critic. I wore this disguise so I could get in partial service, which I must say I have. <gasps> You're the critic? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry for the way I've treated you. Where's the fire? In my eyes, that's where. I'll give you water, you no good critic and bully. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to make this up to you, Free dessert! Your own special reserve table! The truth is, I I was just working as hard as I could for a good review. And a good review you'll get. What? This place is amazing! It has all the hustle, the bustle, and the pesky patrons of the best big city restaurants. You liked it? The atmosphere was authentic. I can see the review now. Culinary critic raves. Winnie's Big City Bistro is perfect for people wanting a taste of the big city in their own backyard. Customers will be lining around the block. Newsflash, everybody. It's romantic. It's authentic. Daddy, it's you're not going to believe what happened. I'm a hit. <laughs> trip to a state park, home of our gentle forest friends. Do not feed the bears. Do not talk to the bears. Do not even think about bears. Huh? Do not put up a fight. Hey, I'm driving here, bub. No, I'm driving here. stole my car. Big L. We'll finally put him away when you testify at the trial tomorrow, Mr. Woodpecker. But I can't testify! Big L could have friends. We promise to keep you safe and under police protection. I can't do it, man! I think you'll find the safe house accommodations aren't too shabby. Woohoo! Duty calls. Take care of the witness. <laughs> hey, buddy. Wanna play concentration? Soon as I sink this shot, Ossifer. Yep, I'm as safe as a bug in a rug with all this protection. Four pounds! <laughs> bye bye, buddy. So, uh, you ready to 
gonna lose your shorts. safer already. It's just me. Complimentary fruit from the precinct. Oh, how thoughtful. End of my shift. See ya, buddy. <gasps> That's no fruit basket. Let me out! It's you! Shut off. Christians to detonation. Kiss yourself goodbye. It's for you. No, you. No, you. Fine. gonna be the first witness I've ever missed. I'm the best there is in the business. I have no equal. There is none greater than I! Would you get the door, please? <laughs> Your Honor, that's the guy who stole my car. And that's the guy he hired to make sure I didn't make it here to say that's the guy who stole my car. This is a oh, tissue of lies! Court. Can you prove he tried to stop you from getting here today, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> Exhibit A! Need I say more? What are you looking at? It would be a pleasure to testify against him at the next trial. Trial is set for a week from tomorrow! Of course, we're going to have to put you in another safe house, Woody. No problemo! And here's the one I want. Yep, a guy could get used to this kind of justice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Beat the heat special. Ice cream cones, only 25 cents. One, 
Super duper cool cone, bub. Before I melt. Hey, Wally's Market, cool inside. Hatcha! <laughs> it's a hot bun for sure, but my cool specials will bring in the cool cash, you bet. Say, where's the coolest spot in your market? The cool is for paying customers. Are you buying something, maybe? Listen, buddy. Cool off before I can think about shopping. The heat out there almost melted my beak. Go cool someplace else. <laughs> Nobody owns cool air. <laughs> Mommy, let's hurry. I want a popsicle. Oh, ho, ho. welcome back to Wally's Market, Mrs. Fanny Winkle. I'm always happy to see my best customer. Yeah. yeah. Ah, cool at last. <laughs> Time for the daily produce inspection. Good coloring, yeah. Firm, very nice rind. Ah, fresh. Mmm, fresher. Freeloading woodpecker! You're not going to use my cool air without paying for something! Psst. Try the melon on the bottom row. Vay the moon it! Woodpecker! You can't hide from me, woodpecker! Mr. Walrus. Ah, Dave, he fresh. Why, you bet. It's the freshest woodpecker I will ever sell, yeah. I'll take it. Oh, man! <laughs> well, what do you know? The frozen food aisle. I'll never be hot again. Here, please, I make it up to you by giving 10% off all your purchases. 20%. <laughs> Mesos Fanny Winkle! Wait! Oh, my. <laughs> you want cool, Woodpecker? I give you the cool! Gotcha! <gasps> oh, Mrs. Fanny Winkle, wait! Wait! Mrs. Fanny Winkle! Mrs. Fanny Winkle, as my most valued customer, 
please accept this rare, one-of-a-kind frozen woodsicle as a gift for your son. Wowie can dowie! A woodsicle! Oh, well. <laughs> if Francis is happy, all right. You're forgiven, Mr. Walrus. <laughs> <laughs> It's alive! Oh, I will never, ever shop here again! As a wildlife ranger, I'm sworn to protect all endangerous critters in these here harsh weather conditions. That means making sure the rare albino polar bear who lives in this here cave has food to eat all winter long, a nice warm place to make nappy time, and some entertainment appliances for his personal enjoyment. <sighs> now to get myself acquainted with the big fella. Huh? Now, just what the heck's going on hereabouts? Well, well, what have we here? Why, you're just a normal, everyday penguin. And this here stuff is for endangerous critters like the albino polar bear. So get... That big fella'll sleep like a baby cub on this here posterior pedic. You gotta be real careful with these ornery bear types. They can be mighty standoffish if and you don't make a good first impression. Say! Now you listen here, little fella. This bed is designed for the slumbering of one albino polar bear. Now come back here and... Hello there, mister. <laughs> well, my first encounter with the big fella didn't go so swell, but food is real hard to come by out here, and I'm sure this here Philette Mignon will warm him up to me. <laughs> Mr. Bear, got you some delectables. <laughs> Stay 20 paces away from the critter to show him that I am in no way his predator. This here penguin is really starting to crush my eyes. Sure is a heavy little fella. <laughs> Y'all might want to avert your eyes. This is gonna hurt a bit, I reckon. Like it says in the Ranger Handbook, when in pain, always revert to the standard operating declaration. Ouch! <laughs> 
Stay out of my preserve, little fella. I'm as sure as snow on Christmas that this big screen TV will win back <laughs> that fella's affections. <laughs> I'll just put the set on mute and program all the educational-like channels for this big fella's edification. <laughs> hmm, looks like my first aid training's gonna come in mighty handy in a few seconds. <laughs> You are banished from these here parts until such time as you are in dangerous, rare, or unique. Which will be never! <laughs> I am officially pronouncing this banished penguin territory. So you stay put! Well, hi and howdy there, little purple penguin. Don't see much of your kind around these parts. Wait a minute. You know, I'm not as dumb as he looks. <laughs> there ain't no such thing as a purple penguin, Mr. Purple Penguin. Impersonating an endangerous type critter is a serious offense against nature. You know what? That's not a half bad look for you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> It is the ultra rare tropical penguin and the tropical polar bear. What a find! Now, just a credit catching minute here, short stuff. These creatures are in my charge, and I. For shame! A member of the Ranger Service chasing such endangered creatures? No, 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 no. These little ones deserve better. They deserve the tropical four star treatment. And you, my Arctic Ranger friend, will be sweeping out the tropical preserve paradise when I report you to headquarters! Whew. It sure is hot working here in this tropical nature preserve. <laughs> oh well, at least it's a dry heat. this here establishment. Ribbit. Ribbit, now, if you want them eggs, you skedaddle into the barn here. You can have all the eggs you can carry. Yes, Ree. <laughs> most likely to be scrambled. Door. 
That's all you can carry. Meet you. See how you been. Oh. Hey there, Feather Pie. I'm Booster, the giant rooster. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just an old country rooster. Looking for a nest to share with a champion egg layer like you, my little chickadee. Oh. How's about sweets for a sweetie? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. One custom-made nest cozy to keep those little champs' ears warm, mama. No. Now come on out of here so as I can meet you beat to beat. No. 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 Gotcha! <laughs> Time to get her where it hurts. Oh, the fair's coming early this year, so I've come to pick out your best egg for entry and competition. We got a lot of big eggs this year. Don't know if yours are gonna qualify. Oh. Hmm, maybe. Possibly, yeah, if you're lucky. Could be. Mm, I'll have to take these for an official review. If you don't hear from us, it's because there were bigger, better eggs out there. In all the years me and Mort been doing this, you're the first one to get an egg. And that's some egg. What's the secret? Well, fellas, sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. <laughs> so what say maybe you'd like a chance at a free side of bacon? Hmm, bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 